here's something I run into a little more often than I would like to and that has to do with fully supporting the bottom of the stair stringer this is an excellent example of how your stair stringers would be fully supported there um, the area the bottom cut of the stair stringer um, has enough material to cover it sufficiently however I have seen these stair stringers before where they're like this um, and again if you had a crack in this area here you just had a crack that went up to here or a crack that went up to here you are going to have stair stringer failure I've even seen cracks in areas like this go all the way up to about here and uh, um, cause the uh, stair stringers to fail structurally now you're probably going to find this hard to believe but I have came across stairways like this that uh, last for years. I'm not about to suggest this, that this type of stairway construction isn't going to work and you will eventually have failure because that is not the case. However, I would like to point out that by fully supporting the stair stringer, you are going to be eliminating one problem. And of course, that is the key to construction. You know, you can build anything and hope it'll last, but uh, if you build something correctly with a uh, understanding of what you're doing, you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, then there's a good chance that your um, construction methods or whatever you're building will last longer. That's just a fact. So if you're going to build a stairway with a landing or set a set of stairs on top of some type of a landing, whether it's built out of concrete or wood. Make sure that the stairway is fully supported. Now this would also include something like this is fine. You know, you can have something like this. This is perfect. This is great. But I would also like to suggest that you can always bring the stairway in a little farther. This isn't going to be a big deal as long as you have the room over here and you're not affecting anything. Uh, I've built landings before um, where the landings just stick past about uh, two or three inches. Um, and if I don't know, let's just say that I'm going to build a stairway and this area is going to be um, underneath some walls. You're never going to see this area. Uh, then th if I'm building just one set of stairs, I'll build the landing a little longer. Let's just say five or six inches longer than I need to, even a foot. It really isn't going to be a big deal as long as the stringers have something to sit on and I don't know exactly where this landing should lie or I don't want to spend uh, uh, time figuring it out, um, you know, exactly um, where everything's going to work out. Now, figuring out where the length of the landing how, how wide you're actually going to need it. That isn't that, it isn't going to be difficult. Cut your stair stringer and then put it in um, its proper place before you build the landing and uh, measure it, simply measure it. That's going to give you the um, exact length that you need. And again, it's not going to hurt. Add an inch to it, you know, add an inch to it just in case you're wrong, you know. Um, but, and even if it's an inch short or two inches short, you can always simply nail another board onto the landing if of course it's a wood landing and uh, you're done with that so anyway there are all sorts of things i don't want to make this a two-hour video sometimes i get a little carried away but just wanted to make a video to point out some of the things that you did are a concern of mine and i see this more often than i would like to and it just reeks of inexperience or um, lack of knowledge either way and I don't want to sound cruel I don't want to make that sound cruel but um, let's face it if you had someone or you yourself stepped onto a stairway that uh, was sitting right on the edge like this and it actually did collapse you know you had a stairway like this and it collapsed um, then uh, you might be a little more concerned than someone else and if you're the stair builder, you would feel you would feel bad if someone stepped on it and broke, especially if it was you. So let's not do stuff like this, um, especially now that you have the knowledge and you know better. Well, there you have it, a wood stairway. Um, we have three stringers here that are sitting on the edge of a concrete 
platform and uh, if they these stringers would have had um, let's just say they would have had plywood or two by four I, I guess I wouldn't have recommended plywood but if they would have had like a two by six or two by eight if they would have used those for risers that would have also provided additional strength for this type of stairway so and who knows like I said stairway like this could last for years without ever having any problems you never know but like I also said if you can build it right and eliminate some of these problems then you should